first meet? And do you remember what kind of clothes did she or he wear for the first date? Melbourne, she was wearing a, a Richmond beanie. She actually looked ridiculous. I don't remember what you were wearing. <laughs> I probably had more hair. Your partner will be your true love? Definitely no. Why? I think it was like a lot at first sight. We were classmates. Yeah, so that made it worse actually. Which part of yourself do you feel most confident about? And also, which part of your partner do you like the most? Brain, that's a good answer. And what was the second one? Heart. <laughs> uh, very confident about my comedy, making people laugh and Joe, uh, trustworthy and intelligent. Who is the one to propose and how? It was actually outside uh, the place that my parents got married. Oh. Yeah, so that's the place wow, I decided amazing. to propose. What's the reason of your most fierce fight with your partner? Oh. oh. My wife is a huge advocate of anything to do with protecting the environment. So if I do anything that goes against that, that will cause a Typhoon 10. And I think everybody should be environmental. If there's one thing that you could change about your partner, what would it be? <laughs> Repeat things too many times. True. What kind of food do you hate the most? The thing about spicy food is you get to enjoy it twice. And I can tell you, for both sides of that equation, it's painful. <laughs> what was the first meal that your partner ever cooked for you? Have you ever cooked? <laughs> really? Steamed. I'm a steamer, not a cooker. Convenient, yummy food, and beautiful. Three words for your local friends. Bored, clever, and curious. Three words to describe your partner. Notice how I always lean towards Jo. She never leans my way. It's always her way, never my way. Good heart, smart, and funny. True. And humble. Direct. What's the second word? Genius. Oh. Which Hong Kong movie do you like the most? All the Stephen Chow's movies. Stephen Chow's brilliant, brilliantly funny. Favorite activity in Hong Kong? Mm, the same, okay. Beach or mountain? Okay, both mountain lovers. Love tribe. <laughs> What's the proudest thing you've ever done in Hong Kong? We clean up a lot of graffitis and all the dirty things that put evil ideas into people's head because um, those bad ideas is um, toxic. Mm. What are the crazy things you want to do in Hong Kong? I think I could swim across the harbour. I don't think it would be very healthy. I'd love to do it in the mood. Who is dominant one in the relationship? And I also want to know, like, do you guys think who is the smarter one? It depends on the decision that needs to be made. And I think we're both very, very good at passing responsibility to whoever's going to make the better decision. What do you just say to encourage your partner? Is that what she means? <laughs> Let things out? Very interesting, isn't it? Notice again, everyone watching at home. I say, love you. She says, let things out. <laughs> It's incredible we've lasted this long. <laughs> it's a mystery. Ask one question that you never got to ask him or her. I don't think I've ever asked her this question before, but I'm actually truly fascinated. Hey Joe, is your bra comfortable? Yeah. Is it more is it is it that movement or is it that movement? Both. Oh. <laughs> Are you spending more time with each other during the pandemic? And how does it feel? We work together, we live together, so we almost 
24 by seven. In a way, we both know how to leave each other alone, mm. but still be interested and involved in each other's lives. What do you guys want to do the most after pandemic? See more places, if you can. We still haven't been to places like Africa, South America, and so many places in China that are fascinating. Use one sentence to describe yourself. Who are you? Apart from growing more hair, I think I'm a, I'm a funny, I really like making people laugh and um, I'm curious. I'm a, I'm, a, I'm a continuous learner, but I think I've got better at that uh, because of... We've got enough <laughs> <laughs> What's a life model? Make meaningful work. We believe that everyone is capable to insert meaning into what they do. So practices are effectively the soft skills that we need. To all the audience watching at home, a very early and happy Gung Hai Fa Choi. Through DOT, we connect. Ready? Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Got it. All right, here we go. Through DOTs, we connect. <laughs>